Good job administering the program all these years. We don't see the point in shifting to a hazardous waste designation and having the federal government run the program. It's just not a hazardous waste. It does not test hazardous by US EPA's own test by characteristic. It passes. It's uh, a lot like the soil and shale, feldspar, quartz. I mean, 90% of coal ash chemistry is what you find in quartz, feldspar, clays. There's another fraction of eight, nine percent that would be the titanium, sodium, sulfur uh, elements like that. And then there's this less than one percent that are the ones that people worry about AEP does, US EPA does, the arsenic and selenium. We have a way to manage those and we feel like we're doing pretty well right now. Environmental compliance is something the company puts a tremendous amount of effort into and really wants to get it right. We want to design the best landfill that we can that is state-of-the-art with the liner and the leachate collection and have the groundwater monitoring network surrounding them so we understand what's going on with the groundwater chemistry. If a problem arises, we want to be able to address it.